Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nine G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Three Stooges. If you're a fan of classic TV shows and movies, then this channel is for you. More specifically, we're going to be talking about Busy Buddies. Now, Busy Buddies was the 78th Stooge short released by Columbia Pictures on March 18th, 1944. Filming took place between November 1st and the 5th of 1943 and the film title as you may have guessed is a play on the term busy bodies now i have been cataloging curly's decline in health for the past half dozen or so episodes or videos of mine so if you take a look at my playlist which is linked below you'll be able to see how we got to this point i'm not going to talk a lot about his decline in this one just a few bloopers that i spotted and i want to be able to show you i think you're going to absolutely love them in the next video we'll be continuing the decline which remember the decline isn't a sharp drop or he starts at 100 percent health and then goes down 90 80 just kind of evenly it's kind of an upward and downward constant movement but overall the movement is going down so sometimes he has good and bad days but overall he is going down as a whole or on a macro larger level so let's get right to the short the short begins with the Stooges running a little restaurant and they must come up with some quick cash to pay off a dealer who sells pies and all of his pies were essentially ruined by the Stooges. So how do they do this? They get Curly into a milking contest that is milking a cow at the local county fair. But his technique leaves something to be desired. It's not so great. So he falls behind the man who is a big huge man and he is pretty much very intimidating he is the champ mo and larry they try to help by putting on a cow suit of course and pouring milk from a concealed bottle but when their cheating is exposed they must leave and run away as a lot of the stew shorts end they do run away and it is an absolute great one now they are at one point trying to make money by putting up posters that happens in a few shorts, so it's not really reused. I guess the idea is reused, not really the footage. But when they have that sequence, they're putting up the posters, and we see that Curly gets essentially um, horned by a bull. He gets launched up into the air, and you can see him flying over the fence and landing on the other side of the fence. You'll notice, of course, and you can say this is a blooper, I've called this before, that this is a dummy. This is not really curly. But not that. That's what I'm not really focusing on or looking at. What I'm looking at is the arm that we can see that essentially kind of comes over the fence. It's not supposed to appear, but it's the guy or the stagehand who is essentially chugging the dummy over the fence. You can see the arm and the, or the hand, and this is of course a blooper, a mistake, because after all he was supposed to be essentially horned by that bull and essentially tossed over, ricocheted over. But no, it's just a guy throwing a dummy over. Pretty cool to see in spot. And there are a lot of good sequences and funny little moments throughout this short. It is one where you don't really see a crazy decline in Curly or any telltale signs that he is sick. It was kind of a positive in terms of his health that we can see. But remember, it is a downward spiral that he's going into. Maybe he has a little lump of um, good health at this time. But when they are in the restaurant, the smaller restaurant, and Curly is the chef, you can interestingly see there is a time where he is cutting up the pancakes, which is not really pancakes. It's a feather filled cushion and he cuts it and he starts eating it. And you can see little feathers, a couple little feathers flying around before he even coughs up the feathers, showing that they, he either put them in his mouth and they flew everywhere and then they said action and those feathers were still flying around and then he coughed them out. Or you could say that there were many sequences that he tried to essentially practice this or do it many takes in which they did this and they finally caught some feathers in the scene that was not supposed to be seen before he blew them out. So I hope you enjoy these two bloopers that are really entertaining to see, really entertaining to find and spot. So make sure you check out this short. Let me know what you think about it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's pretty good. It's pretty funny. It's not one of their all-time bests, but it's still very entertaining nonetheless. We'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for the support as always. And don't forget everyone always to be positive and be hopeful.
Thank you to all my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons, Russ C, Sally N, Vito L, Citizen Kane 359, David D, Jerry D, Jennifer P, and Kevin K. If you want to join this list and be a patron supporter, it does help out so much, and I thank you ahead of time. 